In the last video, I input some notes into the piano roll editor using the pencil tool. That's my secondary tool right now, so I can access it by pressing the command key. You might have noticed, by the way, that when I add notes, a sound occurs. And that's because we have the MIDI out button enabled in the piano roll editor. If I turn that off and then add notes, no sound is created. Similarly, if I click the keyboard on the left edge of the piano roll editor, no sound comes out. So let's turn that back on. Great. To delete notes, you can either use the eraser tool, and I'll just grab that by pressing escape to get my floating tool palette, and then the number three to get my eraser. So I can click notes to delete them. Or if I press escape and escape, I can just rubber band select notes I don't want, and then press the delete key. All of the tools that you find in the piano roll editor are remarkably similar to the tools that you'll find in the arrange window itself. For example, the pencil, eraser, the scissors, and the glue tool. And they all work in more or less the same way. Let me get back my piano roll editor. Let me check it out. We've got the pencil, eraser, scissors, and glue tool. Okay. So if I go and rubber band select these two notes and then grab my glue tool, I can glue them together. Similarly, if I grab my scissor tool, I can cut apart the different notes. Look at that. So all of that stuff works exactly like you'd expect. Let me just go ahead and delete this little note in the middle. There are, however, some tools you haven't seen before. So I'll press escape and point out one of them, which is the velocity tool. This is a very important tool. If I select it and then drag up or down on a note, I change the note's velocity. You can see that lower velocities are a blue color, while higher velocities are more of a red color. And then we have all of the different colors of the rainbow in between. And incidentally, as I drag, notice that the number in the tooltip, the 67, 72, 76, etc., that represents the velocity all the way up to a maximum of 127. Those are standard MIDI values. All right, this is the shuffle that goes into the beat, so I want it to be a lower velocity. Right, right around there. If you rubber band select more than one note, and even add other notes to the selection range by holding shift and clicking them. You can see I've got three notes selected now. You can adjust the velocity of all of the selected notes together, but in a very interesting way. Look, as I drag up to increase the velocity, notice how it changes relative to the original velocity. So this note had a lower velocity to begin with, while these notes had higher ones. They now still have a higher velocity, relatively. I'm gonna drag that one up to the top. And one final thing to note about velocity, just drag this note out with the arrow tool to make it a bit longer. The thin horizontal line inside the note also represents the velocity. So I'll press escape and nine to get my velocity tool. As I change the velocity of the snare, notice how that line gets shorter and longer. Cool, I'll press escape, escape to get my arrow and make that note nice and short again. Oh, maybe a little bit longer than the other ones. What the heck, it's a snare drum. It's just going to trail out over time anyhow. It's got a pretty defined release on the sound.